Welcome back. Crane Durham's Nothing But Truth and the best and the worst of the week. one 589 8840 888-589-8840. That's 888-589-8840. And you can... It could be one sentence in the sense of, hey, this is, this is the best thing that happened to me this week, or this was the worst. You could also say nationally, you could say, what was the worst of this week? You could go with certainly some of the stories that we've heard of Christopher Lane and Shorty, uh, a vet who was left for dead. Todd Starn's doing some great work there. We will take your calls, one 589 Something that uh, has been on my heart, and as soon as we get to it, I wanted to mention at the top of the show was Jim Hoff, the Gateway Pundit, has taken ill. He is receiving tests as we speak, and please keep him in your heart and prayers. That would be great. And the other part to it would be that we have seen a, a great deal this week of some of the worst things. But as people try to go to the race issue, I uh, there uh, there's an element of, of racial hatred, certainly, in the Chris, Chris Lane thing from the evidence I've seen, and that needs to be addressed. Don't get me wrong. But bottom line, if we start going into a conversation on black and white as opposed to the individuals involved and, the, and what they were thinking... I think we play into a whole host of things that divide us along those lines. That all said, let's go to the phones. Let's begin with Jay, best of the week or the worst of the week or both. Jay, Virginia, what do you have? Good evening. How Good are evening. you, uh, Crane? I'm doing well. Uh, Thank you, sir. I think, honestly, uh, mm -hmm. and I listen to you a lot. You may not agree. Matter of fact, I know you won't. I think Obama's speech about education was long overdue, as is the initiative. And it's got to happen. Um, uh, advanced education is way out of line, um, cost-wise and delivery-wise. And uh, I think it's the best thing that's, that's happened uh, in education in the last three or four years. Jay, i got to tell you, I think we uh, agree on the overall point. It's just how to get there. But he did give a heck of a speech. I, I, I will say that. Uh, whether, obviously, you know where I am on those issues. Hey, I appreciate no, I you being part of things, my friend. Thank you. No, I don't know where you are. Okay, well, I'll tell you where I am. I'm not for more government control over that and the scorecard and a whole host of things because it's a step to a greater amount of central planning, and I think the market can work it out. But with respect, Jay. Pat, thank you for your patience. Let's go. Arkansas, tell me your best and the worst or one of the two or both. Pat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, you know what I, I I just wanted to do. Doggone it! I, I I'm so concerned where uh, Hillary Clinton is concerned. Mm -hmm. I, it just really bothers me because uh, so many people really think this woman is 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 worthy of being a president of the United States. It, it's a shame that's where she is, where she is. And and I, one reason I, I I want people to remember. The fact that real quick, uh, yes, yeah, I'd like for them to remember the fact that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, being the Secretary of State, um, uh, you know, she knew that there were multiple, multiple Benghazi. Warnings. Yes, yeah, Pat, yeah. not to cut you off, we're up against it. I will tell you, it's not about Hillary Clinton being a Democrat, whatever. I think it's, I, I think her record speaks for itself. It, it disgusts me, and I do not find her to be an honest, credible person because of the record. That, that all said, appreciate it, Pat. God knows you, God loves you. Live on your life, compassion your heart. Always keep the faith in Jesus Christ. Brent, Jeremy, and Cedra, thank you so much. AFR Talk. <laughs> 